Airbnb automated is McDonald's while Optimize My Airbnb is the family owned corner store. I'm gonna break down the differences and the similarities between these two channels so that you could better understand whose content you might wanna focus on based on your Airbnb goals for the future. I wanna start off with our histories. They're both kinda of similar. In 2009, Sean Rakicic from Airbnb Automated was homeless. He got evicted and through that experience, he started a magazine or a newspaper company in Texas. And through that company, he had a few apartments available to him. And through that, he put them on Airbnb and became an Airbnb host in 2015. And since then has become Airbnb Automated has a, has a business now, a rental, Airbnb rental arbitrage of 100 plus Airbnb listings. For me in 2009, I was in college studying accounting and that's how I found Airbnb in 2012. I quit my first accounting job, found out about Airbnb through a random conversation in, in my kitchen and started working at Airbnb in 2013. I became a host that year as well. Since then, my life has just been total Airbnb. I've, I've spent more than 1,700 nights on Airbnb. I've written the best-selling book for Airbnb hosts. I purchased, this is called the Belmonte Penthouse. It's the first Airbnb in my name, piece of real estate in my name. We both started our Airbnb YouTube channels in 2017. Now we've got some other similarities. We both don't like the property management system Evolve. We both go to the gym, apparently, and we both deliver our content in a similar way. No BS, straight to the point. But that's not what you're watching this video for. Probably you wanna know what are, the, what are the differences? What are the differences? So let's get into that. Now I'm gonna cover first the main differences, then I'm gonna cover some other differences between us, and I'll wrap it up with a conclusion in more than five minutes of your time. What is the main difference? Airbnb automated is rental arbitrage. What is that? That is when you go to a landlord and you say, I want to pay you rent, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn, turn over and list that on, on Airbnb, short-term rental, I'll pay you a consistent rent, I'll make a little extra. That's what Airbnb automated teaches and they teach you how to go, they're teaching professional businesses. They're going at it strong. If you want to start in that business and get a hundred listings via real Airbnb property manager, that's gonna be your best bet. They focus on that type of Airbnb information and that's what this channel is all about is how to grow your business to make you know 2.2 2.4 million in cash and to keep going the one thing that i'll note is i think market research in that environment is more important than the amount of quantity on, on the channel the amount of quantity of content on the channel back when we started hosting you could do Airbnb rental arbitrage basically anywhere and you could be successful if you had a little bit of a business savvy nowadays though 2022 it's difficult. I would argue you really need to focus on the data and the analytics of the market to have a high degree of confidence before you get going. Now that's Airbnb automated. Optimize my Airbnb, what I do, I work with folks who aren't, who don't have dreams of creating a very large Airbnb property management company. If you want 15 or less Airbnbs, most of the hosts I work with have one to five. But if you have less than 15, I'm going to be your best bet. The reason is because at that level, you're still a small business. You face a certain set of challenges to you. Whereas when you're, when you want to run a business in numerous cities with new, with, with 50, hundred Airbnb listings, you have different problems that you need to figure out. Not the least of which is hiring, knowing how to hire, knowing who to hire, teaching that person to manage, you being a good manager. That would be issues that need to be solved for large companies. I don't deal with those issues. I don't, I'm not gonna teach you how to run a team on my channel, but I will tell you how to be the absolute best in your market, how to optimize every little thing in the Airbnb listing. I saw this comment on one of Airbnb Automated's videos, which kind of prompted my own video here. And you can see that this viewer, commenter is asking for a breakdown of just one listing. He just wants to know one listing. The video is about, you know, getting 20, getting 20 listings at the same time. And then you can see a few responses saying, hey, I'm, I'm actually interested in that. I'm interested in that, I'm interested in that. And there was no response from that channel. And the reason is because that's not what that channel does. They don't focus on a small time Airbnb hosts who just want one listing. So those commenters would be better suited coming over to my channel where I have information on that and I interact a little bit more. Uh, that's the benefit of being a small channel. In fact, I have an entire playlist dedicated to new Airbnb hosts. I consider Sean of Airbnb Automated to be a businessman who happens to be doing Airbnb. Like I said, like I'm not an Airbnb person 
by nature. And he's a damn good businessman. In fact, he's probably a better businessman than me. But along with that, he's talking about really high-end business concepts. In the video, how he made $600,000 in a day, he's talking about getting 20 Airbnbs in one deal. And how he, to do that, he goes through no understanding the seller motivation and some negotiating tactics. That's not what my channel focuses on. And directly in that video, he just straight up says, if you're looking for five Airbnbs, this just doesn't work for you. A key strategy difference where this manifests itself, him being more business minded and Airbnb being more, being more an Airbnb expert is that the cancellation policy is a good, is a good uh, way to demonstrate this. His channel would advertise a firm cancellation because it gives you more revenue. That's, th that's their perspective. My channel promotes flexible cancellation policy. And why? Because for me, I think that a flexible cancellation policy, if you have a firm cancellation policy, the guest is probably gonna reach out and they're probably gonna, they're probably gonna want a refund. They probably have a legitimate reason. That's taking some time. Airbnb might reach out. Oftentimes they do reach out. That's taking some more of your time. Over here on the flexible side, cancellations are rare, but when they happen, I've noticed that oftentimes I get a booking. I get a same booking to make up for that. And the reason is because Airbnb favors in search results, flexible cancellation policy listings. And they do that because they know that's a better guest experience. If over here, the guest, it's a first time guest and they book and they have to cancel and they don't get a refund. Do you think they're coming back to Airbnb? No, Airbnb just lost the guest because that guest is pissed off. While over here, I gave that guest a good experience because they're getting most of their money back, if not all of it. In addition, while on paper it does show that, that that firm cancellation policy earns more, there's something you can't measure with flexible, and I believe that flexible cancellation policy gives you a search rate boost. That has value to it in terms of money, but you can't really measure that. So that, that those are two different perspectives, both correct, but looking at Airbnb from a business maximum ROI perspective and looking at it from uh, more of a hospitality ranking high in search, being an expert on, on this one platform. Okay, so those are the main differences. Airbnb, rental arbitrage, go big or go home, 100 plus listings, getting a legal business, doing everything really formal. Me, up to 15 listings, being an expert on the platform, optimizing processes, really being as uh, focusing on hospitality, etc. There are some other differences, some other differences. Sean from Airbnb Automated, he's not a super host. I am a super host. On his channel, he's got almost 10 million views. That's impressive. I have a paltry 300,000. Now that's not all bad, that comes with its pros. One of which I mentioned is that I respond to 100%, I read and respond to 100% of the comments. In fact, sometimes I take five minutes just to respond to one comment. Sean charges $1,000 an hour. That's impressive, $16.67 a minute. I charge about $230 an hour through my consultation, $95 for 25 minutes. Airbnb Automated, Automated doesn't talk about hospitality so much. In fact, he says that. They do go talk about photos, and I think they, take, they could give good advice about photos. Here's the cool thing. You also don't need any special knowledge of hospitality. I, as I mentioned, focus more on hospitality, but that just depends on your goals. That's kind of the point of this video. If you're running a giant business, well, you have to, you have to consider, well, if I want to get five-star reviews, how much effort is that going to take and how much how much revenue am i going to make you know maybe i'll have to spend double but i'll earn only half half more so it's a business decision and it's, and it's a balancing act and it, in fact it makes sense for a large business not to focus so much on hospitality to more so focus on getting more units we don't have five star reviews on our 10,000 reservations you know having we don't have a perfect score and it's not important to have a perfect score let's take airbnb for example five years ago six years ago, their customer service was pretty good. But as they grow and became this behemoth of a company, they had to make some decisions. For how much we're spending on our customer service, are we getting that much benefit? We have a fiduciary duty to our shareholders. Are we doing a good job? Are we maximizing our investment? And so they made the decision that no, they're not. So their customer service went down the toilet, as we've all noticed if we're Airbnb hosts, but their revenue shot up. So that's the balancing act that they're doing. Think of it another way. You go to a really touristy area and there's a there's a bunch of vendors all over. You could buy food, they're all kind of the same, but you, you just choose one. That vendor doesn't have a motivation to work on hospitality and to work in this case on the best food. Why not? 
because he knows that the amount of money and time and effort he'd have to spend on getting good food and improving the quality of his food, it's not gonna return much of the income because he's still gonna get, there's still so many guests coming in. He doesn't have much repeat customers. So he knows he's got the, the demand side, the demand side, the customer's always coming in. So does it make sense for him to serve the best food in the world? No, it, it makes sense for him to serve okay amount of food and get as many guests as he can coming in who aren't gonna complain, but aren't gonna, you know, they're not coming back anyways. Hope that makes sense. Airbnb Automated is for USA only. The concept he talks about in terms of hiring practices and accounting and legal starting businesses, those are USA only. I am focused on more of the world. I have helped Airbnb hosts in more than 150 cities, 70 co countries, 150 countries, 70 hosts from 70 countries have actually paid me to help them. I think that's pretty cool. I'm proud of that number. Airbnb Automated is more so for property managers. Optimize my Airbnb. While I have been a property manager since 2015 and have, have been part of a business that managed 75 listings at, the, at, at that one time, that's not my focus of my channel. I consider myself a platform expert, an absolute expert, best in the world at Airbnb. The last difference is uh, Sean from Airbnb Automated. He's more of a salesman and he's a good salesman. And I say that with zero malice. That's a, that's a good skill to have. And he's open about it. So maybe sales is my thing. And he has a course to sell. Whereas on my side, I've said in a not so business savvy way, I've said that all of my tricks and secrets are out there for you. If you have the time to consume my content, it's all there for you. You don't have to buy a course from me. In fact, I don't have a course. I say you own, the only reason you pay for pay me is to save your time. That's the only reason. I'd actually, in fact, you don't pay me. I'd rather you not pay me and just go to my channel and learn from yourself. Become your own expert. In conclusion, Airbnb automated, they sell a better idea. Become an Airbnb millionaire without owning any property. And it's true, you can. It's hard, but true. It's 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 possible. But that channel that gives you hope, they give you hope, they give you excitement. I'm more of a realist. I kind of do the opposite. Because believe it or not, I'm not doing this for hosts. I'm doing this for guests. Because there's plenty of bad hosts on the platform, plenty of them. If I can make hosts better, I make travel better for guests. In fact, I'm showing you a review now on my book from Deb. Now, Deb left me a negative review. She said, uh, I talked her right out of being an Airbnb host. Deb doesn't know it, but I saved Deb a lot of time. That's damn right. Deb would be a bad host, and I proved that to her, and now she's not gonna be a host. I saved Deb a lot of time. Deb should be thanking me. But that's kind of my thing. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm not here to sell you on Airbnb. In fact, I'm trying to do the opposite. Airbnb Automated, they do have a course, and that's that's eventually what they're pushing you to. A lot of the videos will give you some uh, good information, but if you want all the information, you're gonna have to buy the course. He mentions the course in a lot of his videos, and I'm sure the course is fantastic. Um, positive the course is fantastic. I'm not going to reiterate what I said earlier, but all of my stuff is on there for you. If I do a video about title, I got, I'm putting everything on the line about everything I know about title is there for you in that video. I hope I've been able to differentiate the two a little bit for you. Now, Airbnb automated, you want to go big. You want to go big in Airbnb, be an Airbnb millionaire. Optimize my Airbnb. You're going to have less than 15 properties and you want a more of an intimate relationship with that, that Airbnb expert, which is me. Before I let you go, I want to recommend you a next video. That is my most popular video. It's a video I did in Istanbul, and it's for new hosts. 10 tips for new hosts before you get started. I'm gonna try and scare you from not being Airbnb. If you get through that video and you still want to do Airbnb, send me a comment or a message. Till next time, happy hosting.